Yeah, buddy, John here from Empire RV and Marine, and today I've got a 2006 Weekend Warrior uh, toy hauler, and uh, I'm going to take you on a video tour of this unit, and uh, we'll start at the front. You've got a uh, roof access ladder here at the front. It's also got a uh, power tongue jack, and then it has your propane storage up here. It only comes with the one propane tank. Um, if you would like, we can get you another one, or we might be able to uh, give you a good deal on a spare one if we have one in the back. Um, it has this huge pass-through storage compartment here. And then it's got a 10-gallon uh, hot water heater, furnace of course, you got a rooftop AC, and then it's got this large uh, patio awning, which still looks really good, just needs to be cleaned up, but the, the fabric looks good. It's a tandem axle trailer, and the, uh, the tires look pretty good actually. They still got uh, the nipples, and they don't look uh, dry rotted or weather checked, so you should be good on the tires. And then the exterior, you got your normal fading, but uh, this one, all the you know the graphics still look pretty good. They're not. They're not all cracked up like most of the ones you see, I mean, but they are, you got your normal sun fading on them. And then in the rear, since it is a toy hauler, you got the, uh, the loading wrap, big, uh, opening here so you can get all, like, uh, your taller toys through it. And this, uh, this is actually a, a bed here that can be positioned as a chair. It's on a, uh, electric lift, so it lifts right up to the, underneath that top bunk there. And, uh, also I want to show this to you, we've got little tie downs and then this carpet can be removed if you don't want the carpet here's a look at this side here and uh, this one's got uh, a generator and a uh, fueling station so you fill the tanks from your gas through there and then the Onan uh, generator stored right in here it's a 5500 so it's a good size generator on this rig, so it's an Onan 5500 generator. Starts and runs just as it should. It's got about 700 hours on it. And then this is the other end of the pass-through storage. Which you can store all kinds of things in here. It's really big. I'm going to climb this ladder because I do need to point something out on the roof to you guys. Just give me a second because it's really hard to do with one hand. Especially being that this ladder is kind of short. Okay. Alright, so the roof. Up here at the very front, it does have a soft, some soft spots. But it's only at this like front for about uh, maybe three or four inches. Because right here it's, it's hard and I have walked the rest of it. But right here at the very edge of the seam, you can feel it's soft. And I want to make sure you guys know about that. But uh, from pretty much, you know, a little bit, like all this is still hard, but um, you do have about maybe three or four inches of a soft spot at this very seam. And you can tell that they tried to seal it up. Um, but I did want to make sure you guys know about that. But I've told it is a uh, common problem on these weekend warriors. But uh, I have checked it from the inside, and the inside looks good. Okay, whoa. All right. So let me go ahead and take you in the inside now. It does have a uh, outdoor shower here. And then this here, I think, is just maybe a sewer hose storage. Yeah, sewer hose storage. There's one on the other side, too. I forgot to point that out. Okay. So on the way to your inside... You've got a mid entry, you walk right in the kitchen here, it's got the uh, solid surface countertops, you've got the double sink, and then I guess this is the uh, switch for the fueling station. It says pump, so I'm pretty sure that's what that's for. You've got a microwave, and then you've got your monitor panel where you can check the holding tanks and uh, start your water pump water heater and also start and stop the generator. And it has a generator hours meter right there, which is 
that comes through, it should say. There it is, 704. And then you got a three burner gas range and an oven. And it also has a pull out pantry, which is nice. And then you've got a Dometic uh, two door fridge. I do have it plugged in now, and the freezer is nice, nice and cold. And this model here is the Tiki Edition. Um, I'm not sure what's all involved in the Tiki Edition, but I have noticed that you have the islandy type fabric, and then you've got the sofa, which says Tiki Edition, as well as these two awesome reclining rocking chairs type deal. And they say Tiki Edition on it. And then you have lots of little things all over the unit that says Tiki Edition. So I'm guessing you get the cool palm trees and that islandy feel. Um, and then it does have this, uh, it has a bunk bed up there. I don't know if you can see the ladder, but we do have a ladder for it. And it does come down when it's uh, not in travel mode. And then you have this thing, which is nice. It says also a bed, and then this will flip down like this and turn into a sleeping space. Pretty cool. And then also you have the, uh, this table sets out of the way and can be uh, made into a, a sofa slash sleeper kind of deal. And I do want to show you this, that the uh, that bed back there is on electric lift, so that's really cool. And it goes all the way up to the, just right about, uh, goes pretty much up to the top of the other bunk right there and uh, again I told you this uh, carpet does pull out of the way and then you'll have just a uh, solid hard floor that has the tie downs underneath there so if you want to strap your bikes or whatever kind of toys you got uh, you got lots of nice uh, cabinets and drawers in here and then you've got a uh, your sleep your main sleeping space here with a uh, partition that pulls out and then you've got overhead storage which I wanted to show you the overhead storage to show you that in here looks good as far as the uh, soft spot on the roof this still still looks fine and then right here it's also set up to have a TV you've got the windows on both sides so it's got a cool nice little sleeping space here up front you got a little laundry box thing here and then you've got your your bathroom, which actually has a real nice, good sized shower on it, um, which I wasn't expecting on a unit this size, so it's got a good sized shower. You've got a vanity area with a, a big closet here, actually. If you have questions on the unit, feel free to call me. My name is John. Our number is 936 253 8130. And uh, we've got a 2006 Weekend Warrior Toy Hauler, uh, Tiki Edition. And uh, I also wanted to point this out just before we uh, end this video. It does have this uh, up there. It's got these uh, bug screens that pull down, zip down here. And that way you can leave this back uh, gate open and not worry about mosquitoes and all that coming in to eat you. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. Again, my name is John. The number is 936-253-8130. And if you're in your market for a uh, weekend warrior toy hauler, uh, this one is definitely a great great looking unit so thanks for watching